I am Paulina Morales and I am Mexican. I live in a town that is called Puebla, just two hours from Mexico City. I have been living in Lithuania for almost three years already. Um, I came here because I was studying master degree in Scotland. So I did a master degree about IT with a specialization in oil and gas. My goal was to come back to Mexico and, <laughs> and work in an oil and gas company. Uh, but I met a person, a Lithuanian, so love brought me to, to, to Lithuania, that's why I'm here. I was studying master degrees. When we both finished, we were like considering what was the next step. So we were thinking to give it a try, either to go to Mexico, stay in Scotland or going to Lithuania. It was Brexit moment, so we, ha we had a very, very hard time trying to find a job in UK because they were prioritizing uh, citizens, like British citizens, and they were not uh, doing a, giving a lot of work visa for foreigners. So the second option was Mexico or Lithuania. And my husband at the moment uh, didn't know anything Spanish at all. So it was going to be more difficult for him to find a job in Mexico. We decided to, that I will have more opportunities to just speak English. So that's why I came here. But uh, for me, it was just a trial. I was not intending to stay here forever. I am getting happier living in Lithuania, but at the beginning it was not that easy. It takes time to get into the circles, into the uh, social activities. It's not that like you arrive and you are welcome everywhere. No, it, it takes time. At the beginning I was feeling very, very lonely, like very, very lonely because I didn't know the language and it's one of the hardest language I would say in the world. People are very proud to be Lithuanians, but uh, in the sense to fight for the, for the traditions, for the culture, for the language, for the things that make them unique. For me, this is one of the very, I don't say romantic things, that they fight for, for their roots. One of the things that I like the most from Lithuania is the nature that it has because from the country I am from it's not that regular or that normal that you can be in the city and in few kilometers you are in the forest and in few kilometers you are in the lakes few kilometers and you are like in a national park I tend to joke to my husband that Lithuania has more trees than people and this is how I see every everywhere I go there are a lot of trees so this is one of the the beautiful things that Lithuania has for me. For me, nature is very important and I do appreciate that here I have the freedom to be very close to the nature everywhere. I feel secure. And this is one of the things that uh, if I compare to my country, in my country you cannot go alone. Especially if you are a woman. You are all the time, you know, watching uh, your back. Here I have the confidence that I can go alone to any park, to any forest, to every like even running at night or running very very early in the morning and I feel secure. I don't feel that someone is chasing me or that I would be in a risk. I literally feel free. One of my dreams in my life was to have a runner's club or be part of a runner's club. Since last year, every Tuesday, we gather after work uh, in, the, in, in Danske Bank and we run together and then we do warm up, then we do the run. I am very happy because at the moment, uh, at the beginning we were like just three runners probably and now sometimes we do races and we are probably up to 20 runners and I think the community now it's super amazing. I really love them. This running club definitely takes me a lot of time because I need to be creating the posts, the okay, trainings. Start us! But I think the most rewarding part 
is that I can see some people that have no runner skills at all or running experience at all and at the moment now they are like have like an addiction speaking about my hobbies I I cannot say that they are my hobbies I think they are part of me as a person I am a dancer and a runner for me running and dancing it's how can how can I relax myself so every time I have a problem or I am stressed or I really want to have a time for me I need to go for a run like literally it drains me I am like with empty head and I can go back to my normal routine and about dancing dancing has a different uh, meaning for me because now that I am um, away from home every time that I go for this uh, dancing classes uh, it's uh, related to it is like uh, laughing rhythms I feel home like listening to my salsa music bachata music it's connect me like I can I think I when I dance I dance from the heart so literally it's the way for me to to feel I am home sometimes when I'm away. You need to do that. Yes. For me, expressing and sharing my Mexican culture in Lithuania, it's a key part uh, because at the moment I'm married with a Lithuanian and if we plan to have kids, the kids are going to be both Lithuanian and Mexicans. My idea is to take the best things for both cultures and mix them together. Mexican community in Vilnius is quite uh, increasing. It's very nice because every time that there is like something important, like for example Independence Day or uh, Day of the Death or something related to Mexican matches or something like that, we gather together. So it's very nice because we are from different cities in Mexico, but being outside Mexico, I think we became more Mexicans. Somehow we are so proud of being Mexicans and doing things. I would recommend to foreigners to live in Lithuania if they are looking for a capital city that it's big enough to be a capital and be connected to have all the facilities or the benefits that a capital offers you but at the same time you like calm, slow probably, definitely Lithuania is a place for you. <laughs>